back on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And we just saved Machiavelli's life. La Volpe was gunning for him. And oof, it's a good thing we got there in time. Because bad things were going to happen. Thankfully for Machiavelli, they did not happen. And you know what? Machiavelli is a powerful ally. Better that he's not dead, I think, anyway. So, we'll continue with the main storyline. And here is our friend, La Volpe. was Roma. Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. What is he talking about? Is she an assassin now? The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, and our brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. Oh my. Cloudy is going to be an assassin, huh? Man up. You and I have not seen eye to eye <laughs> on many issues. Nicolò. But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now, we must put Ezio where he belongs. At the head of the assassin. Oh, my. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our order and our secrets. What a title. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Where other men <laughs> limited by morality and law. Remember, everything, everything is, is permitted. What a moment. By the way, the leap down there is into water. Why this sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone. He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo. Now is the time. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Take him out! Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you start. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. Oh, yeah? If you do, make it short. Checkpoint reached. Ascension. 100% sync. Gotta love it. And that is sequence 7 complete. These last few sequences have really been flying by. But we still don't have everything open. Still don't have the armor of Romulus. So we get to sequence eight here. The Borgia. It's a big sequence, surely. And you know what? Maybe I almost like that um, everything is not opened. Because I think this honestly might be the favorite um, colorway and the outfit that we've even had so far. I think it looks great. Like the tan beige with the red. Huge fan. But tell me this. Can I finally, finally, finally get new armor? Yes. Ooh, we can get the Sussenhauer Van Braces. 
Now, we can't get the chest guard or the pauldrons until we complete the shop quest, which I still cannot do. Because we don't have another shrunken head and we don't have enough elephant ivory. But I will greatly uh, increase overall. Plus one health, plus one resistance with the chest guard. Plus one health, plus one resistance with the pauldrons, the plate pauldrons. And then the Sussenhofer Greaves gives us plus one health, plus two resistance. And the Sussenhofer Van Braces give us plus one health and plus two resistance as well. Weapons. We just buy it, but... I don't know what's even good. The Warhammer? That seems sick. Stolko seems alright. Big ass mace. That seems cool. So what do I want here? The mace is good. Mmm, the Stolko looks quite good as well. Have we been using that? I think we had been, right? The mace would be kind of like a cool new weapon though. Small weapons. Ooh, the Nanch Sincadia. It's not as good as the Butcher Knife, but I never use this anyway. So, it's all good. Ammunition. We're good to go. And we are good. So, we should see a big boost in the top left health-wise. And let's see what the goal is for right now. We still have to destroy these war machines. We still have to see whatever this Templar agent is. Still have to follow up with Copernico. Still need to do this uh, Katarina mission. Am I finally able to go down here? I would hope so, dude. It would be about time really would be. Ooh. Another layer of Romulus. Well, maybe it's about time to head over here. Let's do it. We'll continue with the main storyline and maybe even do a layer of Romulus in this episode. That would be four of six. It has been many, many, many episodes since our last one. And the most we'll be able to get right now is... Is five. There is a sixth. I think it's... Like, in this general area. I can't remember exactly where. It's somewhat unassuming. But the last time I went over there, I tried to open it. And it wasn't even on the map. It was just by happenstance. So I kind of ran into it. And it was like... Yeah, you can't do it yet. Come back later. I'm like, okay. So, obviously, something's going to happen with progression in the storyline uh, in order for us to do that. So, am I wasting time in a way by even doing any of the uh, layers at this moment? Yes, yeah, somewhat. But I guess that leaves us in the future where we would just have to do one of them. We wouldn't have to worry about once it's finally unlockable to go back and do three. I haven't fully decided yet. It's just kind of a we'll wait and see what happens and make a decision. And if the opportunity presents itself, sure, maybe we'll go for it. But even with unlocking it at uh, the Castel San Angelo, we might not be able to even do that right now. The one in the top left, so. Uh, top left of the map, if you didn't, if you didn't gather that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not in a rush. As I said, I really like the way this looks right now. Um, eventually we're going to get to the, uh, the armor for sure. But it's not like a, a pressing need or anything. I'll just run right through. I, I do not care. If you guys want to die, you can challenge me. It, it's entirely up to you. Ooh, these doors are open finally. These have never really been open. You only wish to talk to me? Oh, that didn't look like talking. I'm calling my assassins. See what happens. See what happens. Oh, it's such a big, big sword. Jesus. Yeah, the assassins are quite helpful. 
Requiem. Breach the perimeter of Castel San Angelo and confront the Pope inside the Papal Apartments. Full sync is do not be detected. Yeah, we know all about Rodrigo Borgia. He's a troublemaker. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you just... Why are you just sitting there, fella? What are you doing? Ugh. Annoying. Don't look at me. And you're done. I didn't see him the first time. That was actually super frustrating. Okay, that's that's one way. That's one way to do it. No, you did not see me. I was not ready for that guy to be there. Ooh, air assassinate guards from beams completed. Now we've come up this way before, right? We just hit him with a throwing knife from here? Nope, not close. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The one throwing knife didn't kill him? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart it. I, it's very possible to do this without a uh, without getting detected, I'm sure. But these little weirdos keep keep annoying me. We continue up this way, yes. Okay, so remember, there is going to be a guard up here. I got to check the map more often and not just climb up. Excellent. I just got to use the crossbow. Boom. Yeah, you're done. Crossbow is very useful. Found that out in a hurry. I don't see anybody. Oh, is that Cesare? Does he not see the dead body? I want to see the Pope. Oh, he's mad as hell. He's not noticing anything. Get out of my way. Find the secret door. I was about to say, there's no guard up here. I find that highly unlikely. We got my throwing dirt. Crossbow. Dead. Oh, you're just appearing out of nowhere. Thank God. Dude, these guys are just appearing actually out of thin air. You're not seeing anything. Oh, he literally just turned away. What a sweetheart. You're dead. Now, how do I get into that? It looks like... Is there an opening on the other side? Yeah, there might be. Mm, looks like it's not going to be up here. We make that jump. Nice. And we probably shouldn't have done it this way. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Perfect. It's really a secret entrance. Oh, it's nighttime all of a sudden. Oh, and we have the key. That's right. From Pietro. Find a way into the upper dining room. And I assume... Stay undetected. I don't understand. I ordered a fresh batch of La Cantarella last night. I am terribly sorry, Mia Signora, but the Pope has taken it all. Where is the Pope? He meets with Cesare. Strange. He did not tell me Cesare had returned. Oh. So I guess we'll probably climb up there. So much trouble. Why didn't I stay in the stables? What a family this Pope has. <laughs> 
It would be saying that out loud to themselves. Dude has a death wish with these crazy people. You hear one word like that, they'll just straight up kill you. Um... I mean, do we get up there from here? How am I getting up there? I'm not exactly sure. How am I going to do this? I don't really see any type of a uh, way to climb all the way up. I mean, you'd think that this had something to do with it. And maybe it does. Oh, you didn't grab it the first time. <sighs> Did not grab it. I am losing my voice a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I know you can. So a lot of uh, a lot of speaking does. Is what it is. A little drop. Okay, cool. A little swing action. Maybe jump up here. Excellent. And then I think. Oh, that's an interesting jump. This is quite a way to get over there. I'll tell you that much. But it's the way we have to go. Quite a way to get up here. A little back eject. Okay, there's two of them here. Three! Okay, beautiful. Do I try going down? What the fuck are you doing there, dude? Oh my god. Just, uh, annoying. That's what it is. It is just annoying. Down or die? How about go fuck yourself? Now I'm mad. You want some? You're dead. Loud and proud. Full sync failed. You're dead as well. Can I climb this bookcase? Perfect. I mean, this guy might be the biggest idiot on the planet. Yep, you want some? Oh yeah, you're gonna shoot me with a gun? I'll shoot you in the face, how's that? Actually point blank range. Um, wasn't supposed to do it this way, but... This also seems like a way up, so we'll just do it this way instead. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. And checkpoint. Oh, nice. Pope's got some tomatoes, apples, tomatoes, what apples, apples. Here? They got Do stems. Know what you mean? My funds, my troops, gone. Financial difficulties strike all of us, even those with an army. You intend to give me money? <laughs> no, I do not. Then I will use the peace of Eden to get what I want. Your help is not necessary. That has been made abundantly clear to me. Are you aware that the Baron de Valois is dead? No. Did you? What reason could I possibly have to kill him? Was he plotting against me with my brilliant traitorous Captain General? I do not have to stand for this! The assassins murdered him. Why did you not stop them? <laughs> As if I could. It was not my decision to attack Monterigione. It was yours! It is high time you took responsibilities for your actions. My accomplishments! Despite the constant interference of failures like you! He's the Pope, dude. You are not going anywhere. I have the peace of Eden. 
Get out of my way, old man. I gave you everything, and yet it's never enough. Jezere, he intends to poison you. He's already eaten the apple. You would not listen to reason. Father, do you not see? I control all of this. If I want to live, I live. If I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die! Jesus. Where is the peace of Eden? Stop! I know where it is. And you did not tell me he had taken it? Cesare, it's me, your queen. You are my sister, nothing more. Ooh, yikes. Where is it? You never loved me? Where is the apple? Tell me! Oh! Tell me! <laughs> yikes. Beat Cesare to the Apple of Eden and do not kill anyone. For full synchronization. I want the apple. <laughs> do not be detected. Fucking when did it say do not be detected? When did it say that? Am I you? Give me the apple. Guess what? Mine, full sync failed. It already had. Oh, that was the previous one. All right, that's my bad. That's my bad on that. What's the way to do it? Give me the apple. Oh, this way? Mine. Is there a way to do that without killing anybody? There might be. I'll give it a shot. And we'll listen to Cesare torture Lucrezia more. All right, Cesare. I'm coming through that window. I want the apple! All right. Do not kill anyone's going to be tough. Is detection even a problem? Detection might not even be a problem. Give me the apple. It's mine, not yours. I want the apple. Yeah, I don't know that it is a problem. Climb up. Is Rodrigo just dead? Is this how he dies? Jesus. I know. I know where that bastard is going. What a family. Pietro, the pavilion in the courtyard. Thank you. Damn, what a way for Rodrigo to go. Glad he's dead, obviously. Actually, let's loot his body. No, we can't. All right, well. Would have been cool, too. Yeah, I guess detection's not even a problem. Not trying to kill anybody. Is it up? Not this up. Maybe these other stairs? The pavilion in the courtyard. I guess it's down. They had a courtyard up there for sure. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's Cesare! Assassino! Cazzo. No. I will come for you. Fate. Will you? Find a way out of the Costello. Maybe we'll climb up. Okay, he's not going to climb up. Or will he? Nope. Nah, he's going to he's going to do it. Come on, Ezio. Come on, little guy. Nope. What about one of these? Holy shit. I thought we'd just do one of these. Oh, he finally does it! Huh! Don't want to have to kill you, buddy. Just leave me be. Oh my god, Ezio, Jesus. It's a big-ass spiral staircase, huh? 
I will not hit a dead end. I'm out of there. Oh, there he is. Look at Cesare go. Am I not... I can't kill him? Yep. I gotta just dip from here. A shame. A true shame. He was right there. Could have killed him right there. Wouldn't let me. Unfortunate. Oh, dude. Is this is this still the Vatican? Yeah, I think it is. Um, we're just gonna sprint away. <laughs> In Assassin's Creed 2, they would have uh they would have hit you as you ran through them. I can't call my assassins right now. A little annoying. Let's go right. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, this dude just dropped out of nowhere with a crossbow? No shot. Come on, Ezio. Move it. I think we're making pretty good time. I got distracted by a minute, or for a minute, by Cesare. Because I thought, you know what? Maybe we'll kill him right now. But it's a story game. You can't just do that. So Ezio's making a, a move here. He's making a beeline. Also, did you see that that glowing, uh, like, uh, gate entrance? That is definitely a followers of Romulus gate, for sure. I have to become anonymous to continue? Oh, uh, remember when we snuck in this way? Okay. I don't want to have to kill you, gentlemen. So I'm going to go ahead and hide. Okay, not going to let me hide there. <laughs> On the bench. Alright, now we're anonymous. Basilica di San Pietro. I didn't kill anyone, though. Well, we made it here. Ooh, is this the apple? What is this? Oh, it is! Is Cesare going to be here? He sure is. Looking for this. I have the apple. Oh, little poison. You feeling all right? Feeling okay, buddy? Oh! How'd that work out? <laughs> what are the guards going to do? Escape from the Vatican with the apple of Eden. Do not lose any health in doing so. Now, can I use this as a weapon? Oh, yes. Oh, does it hurt my health? Well, what the... Dude. How was I supposed to know the apple drains me? I just, I'm just not going to use the... Uh, just not going to use the apple then. I'm just going to sprint up out of here. I do kind of want to use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a little test run, just to see what happens. A little. Does a little tap do nothing? Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. I'm just not gonna use it. It's cool to see what it does. But, yeah, man, it it drains the hell out of your health. And I'm not, I'm not supposed to lose any health. Um, cool to finally hold this thing, though. I'm not actually sure the, uh, the route I should go. Like, where am I going? Out here? This seems like a way. We just have to escape. The problem is I don't know where I'm going. Let me hit up the map real quick, if you don't mind. 
And we'll get that on the map. And we'll just outrun them. It's amazing how closely they're pursuing. Like, goodness. It's okay. They don't, they don't know what they're up against. Ezio's a good guy. Ezio's not going to kill them. They're just, they're just under Cesare's dollar, you know? They know not what they do. They run pretty well in, in full armor, though, I'll tell you that. Dude, who's this guy with the, the freaking mandolin chasing me down? This guy's going to be fast as hell. Look at these moves, though. No one can compete. Go, Ezio! Into the water! Swim away! Are they gonna swim after me? Surely not. Yeah, they're like, oh, damn, swimming. What's that? They don't know how to do it. And just like that, it's as easy as that. Full sync completed. Let's go. We got the apple back. Roma, August... 1503. Rodrigo Borgia is dead. And Cesare? Not. Poisoned, but alive. We must not allow him to assemble his remaining supporters. The coming weeks are critical. With your aid, I will hunt him down. My men will patrol the city, but we might need an army. We have one. The apple. <laughs> Demilitarization. Destroy, uh, destroy Cesare's Roman army, leaving him with little support to wage a counterattack. We can do that. We can handle that. We got it under control. Now I can use the apple. <laughs> Just wanted to see what that was. That would do. Uh, yeah, we got to be careful with this thing. Oh, do we just regen health automatically? That's nice. Uh, what am I looking for here, by the way? You must find oh. They are everywhere and nowhere at once. I do not care how you do it. We cannot on our own, Signore. You must help us. I am ill, you idiot! <laughs> Micheletto will soon be here with my armies, and then you will see how quickly the Assassini fall. You delude yourself, Cesare. God! Yeah, see what happens. What sorcery is this? What sorcery is this? How's that? Oh, I gotta chase down Cesare? Do I have to? I'm not even sure. Ezio is struggling. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and... Oh. Somebody just shoot me with an arrow? Is there where I can just kill him? Oh, I can. I think... I'm not really sure how to get this guy. Oh, like that? Jesus. I need to regen some health, though. There we go. These guys are fighting. These guys are having a heck of a time. But that time's gonna be over here in a second. Oh, there they go. The apple is pretty... It's pretty good. Oh, this is gonna be a powerful blast. That was actually severely under... Uh, really. Alright, I'm almost dead. If he shoots me here, it's game over. Yep. Hold on. Need to regen a little bit of health. This dude's just chasing me with a crossbow. Oh, 
I don't know how to kill people with this. This crossbow guy's got to go. He's a great shot. Can, can I not tackle him? Nope. Oh, that's the death ring is what that is. I see. Are you trying to kill me now? Dude, are you seeing what's happening and you still want a part of this? Watch this. Death ring. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Demilitarization is done. Roma, September 1503, a month later. A cardinal revealed under stress that Cesare plans to meet with Templar loyalists in the countryside. The cardinal departs for the meeting tonight. I will follow him. The implication is that the cardinal was here uh, and the prostitute had her uh, hands around his dingus and had him in a compromised position. Break up Cesare's meeting with the Cardinals to ensure he does not successfully petition for aid. Will do. Will do. And we still have the apple. Which is nice. Still can't call my assassins. Not so nice. But at least now we know how to use the apple. To murder. Which, what a fun little twist that is. Ah, uh, there he is. Hello. I'm Ezio. Nice to meet you. And... Oh. Made a little bit of an oopsie there. I gotta tail this guy. Uh. Yeah, Ezio's struggling. This guy, he just doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> Alright, let's... Are you, are you, what are you doing? This apple's kind of like, it's an interesting thing. I'm not even sure, like it's useful. It's not my favorite thing, to be honest. Let me get a little, little look at him. He doesn't know about me. We'll just get, we'll get a good look. We gotta be really careful though. Oh, here he is. Join me and I will take back Roma. You're we weak. We decided to elect Della Roveri to the papacy. We are so. I paid for your appointment. Roma is not the same as it once was. Borgia money has become tainted. It's true. You will regret this decision. Assassino! Run! Hired men promise you their blood, but as soon as you need help, they turn against you. Guards! Guards? Okay, this guy's got a gun. This is the only option. Only option. Okay. Where's this guy? He's gonna die. Boom! These dudes with the guns, though. Relax. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad time standing right next to Ezio with the Apple of Eden. It's gonna be a real tough time. Kinda just gotta sprint around and, and stay up. Get all these guys close. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit too close for comfort. You guys are going to wish you got a little bit more distance. <laughs> what a move. Seeing red, 100% sink. Roma, December 1503, many months later. My men tell me Cesare rallies his best soldiers in front of the main gate into Roma. Gather the assassins. We we'll face him together. All roads lead to blank. Join the other assassins to confront Cesare and his last remaining followers. I shall. I shall. It's okay if you see me. I, I don't care. All of Italia shall be united! 
and you will rule beside me. You won't. Come to watch my triumph. Soon Micheletto and his army will arrive, but you shall be dead before then. I don't think so. Insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria gli assassini! Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Calling my assassins. I don't, who do I even have to kill here? Oh, you just pushed me down? Do you not realize what's happening? This is what's happening. Boom! No, oh, Claudia's out here. Interesting. Um... You're gonna re you're gonna regret doing that. You really will. I my assassins here. La Volpe is struggling. Don't worry, La Volpe. I got you. Did he get out of the way? Clearly frightened. Here we go. Dead. Nope, don't really have the, the stamina to do any of that. Where is Cesare se speaking from? Oh, he's on the other side of the gate? Throw down your arms, he's a little bitch. Micheletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city once and for all. Nope. This is not your city anymore. By order of Pope Julius II, I arrest you, Cesare Borgia. For the crimes of murder, betrayal, and incest. No! No! Yeah, a lot of bad no, crimes. No! This is not how it ends! Chains will not hold me! I will not die by the hands of man! <laughs> uh, you might. It was the manner in which he said it. Chains will not hold me. If you are so worried... There is a way to find out. No, it is too powerful. It must be hidden outside the domain of men. What a shame. Hiding a masterpiece where no one will ever see They it. shouldn't. And yet, what if he meant what he said? I cannot risk it. Oh, my. Ezio better not be corrupted with this. Cesare was right. I have to leave. Huh? What about your friends? I built this brotherhood to last, with or without me. What do you intend to do? Plant a seed. Here, a gift. If this is goodbye, then keep your money. I do not want it. We will see each other again. You have my word. Buona fortuna, my oldest friend. And take the money and your meager salary. You will need it. My patron has been arrested after all. <laughs> but guys, I think it's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Things are really ramping up, as you can tell. Sequence 8 has been completed. And I feel like... We're really escalating to the end of the game. I mean, Rodrigo Borgia just kind of died out of nowhere. We don't even have the the armor of Romulus. We're missing a lot. And I guess I can't end the episode right now. <laughs> How did you find me? The beginning of the game. From Mario Alditore, let me hear. A little quick time? A little quick time moment? Alright. We're still rocking. Kill him! Kill the assassin! All right, well, we got no choice now. We're fighting. We're in it to win it. I don't know how we're not chaining these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is this? Oh, Viana. March 1507. A big jump forward. Is that where we are during the, during the main storyline? Sequence 9. The fall. Let 
We're in it, I guess. I need munitions. Reach the olive field. Well, I had intended on... Faster to travel by horse. That being the episode, but it, I mean, clearly it won't be. Oh, man. But wait, do I need some water? Old RTNA to jump over obstacles. It'd be nice if that worked more often. Jeez, things are going crazy. Castel Viana. I'm not sure where this is. Oh, the horse has taken a bit of a tumble. We got to run for it now. How the horse dies and Ezio's fine is a bit of a confusing thing to me. These guys are wearing gold. I haven't really seen those troops. Are these the Spanish? Is that possible? Oh, no. Get over. Get over. Yeah, these guys are wearing gold or, or green or something. I'm trying to read those subtitles, too. We're just going to ignore these guys. We've actually done this undetected. Shockingly. I don't think we need to, but we have. She's speaking Spanish. This is probably Spain. Oh, Jesus. That's an interesting move. Yeah, they are speaking Spanish. This has to be Spain. I don't know Viana, though. I don't know what Viana is. Feels good to have the blade back. How do we not chain that? Alright, sorry about that, bud. We're gonna keep rocking and rolling. Onward and upward. I'm trying to think about where this would be. I just don't know Vienna. I don't know what that would be. It sounds like Vienna, Austria, but it, it's not that. Or, I mean, maybe it is. I don't think so. I, it, it's surely Spain, but what is Vienna? It, I guess it's possible I just don't know it. Oh, is this a fight Spain against against the Borgia, perhaps? Maybe that's it. How Cesare continues to be alive, though, and thriving, is insane to me. Like, it's, what, 1507? And dude's just still out there? Oh, what a play by Ezio. Reach the gate of the castle. Okay, well, it's not that way. So these people are not nice. Who Who's fighting here? I'm curious what's going on. I just don't know. Maybe I'm not enough of a student of history, but... If we can just kill both these guys who are clearly fighting against each other... I guess no one's on our side? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, it looks like we should be able to climb this. Or we could just run it. Sorry, gents. I'm just doing what I gotta do. This guy's just floating over. I'm absolutely gonna get away with it. That's the next thing that happens, is me getting away with it. Taking out everybody. Proceed. Proceed onward. We can probably climb that. I don't get how they're all enemies, though. I guess I just don't know who Ezio is. But up we go. It's the only way to go. Climb the siege tower. 
That seems not to be the way. But what is the way? Do you know the way? I'm, I don't. Ah, uh, I see now. We use these broken pieces like a ladder. That'll work. Go up here. This is, uh, I mean, it's not that well made, I guess. Okay. Oh, dude. Real, uh, okay, we're just not going to even fight those guys. Our beef is with Cesare. The wall surround you. There is nowhere to run. Come then, Ezio. Defeat Cesare Borgia. Dude's got a gun. Fortuna will not kill me. I am the best fighter who ever lived. I don't think that's true. will never I totally will. He said that so rudely. Dude, that doesn't even take one off him. Oh, here we go. Hidden Blade just came out all of a sudden. Again. We cannot kill him. Just kick him all day. Dude, stab him again. It knocks off another piece of armor, of course. Did anyone see the fight? Did anyone see the fight? Like UFC last night? Okay. You guys want that work? Cesare's done nothing, by the way. Dude is really all talk. The most all talk of all time. Bad day to be you, Cesare. Again with the hidden blade. Knock off some more armor. We knew that was going to happen. I'm just going to go all in on Cesare. If they want to do something, they can. But we're going to keep hitting with this huge sword and then take out the hidden blade. That's just what's going to happen. Okay. Oh, he's got a gun? Nice move, dude. And you are dead. Resquiescat in pace. It never was. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. You cannot kill me. No man can murder Watch it then. Then I leave you in the hands of fate. Oh, just dropping him off the side. That's brutal. Goodbye. The throne was mine. What do you know? I will lead mankind into a new world. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me. What is happening? Is this a little flashback or flash forward? Because this reminds me of the beginning of Brotherhood and the ending of Assassin's Creed 2. You know, um, in the Vatican. Here we are at Il Colosseo. Hmm. Don't really know what's going on. We've got it. Coliseum. Let's go. 
We can be there before dawn. Wait, there was oh, something they're finding the apple. Door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. It seems to open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. <laughs> oh, Damn great. European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password. Well, we that. Find that password. Ezio knows the answer. Problem is, he's dead. I can't believe we're stuck here. Now that is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know where we go from here. There's still a lot I want to do in Roma. We'll see if we get a chance to do it or not. Cesare, dead. Rodrigo Borgia, dead. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take it easy.